Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I want to go over different types of interest rates that are available in the market and explain the main differences between them as I know how confusing it can get. Before we jump into the video I would really appreciate if you could hit the like button as well as the subscribe one as it really helps my channel to grow and reach a wider audience. So without further ado let's jump right into the video. terms there are two main types of interest rates and those are fixed and variable. Now there are three subtypes to those rates that I'm going to go over in more detail shortly but those subtypes are your cat, your tracker and your discount rate. So let's start with talking about the standard variable rate or SVR for short. The SVR is actually the default for most lenders and it will differ from lender to lender. Some lenders have it set at a higher amount, some have it set at a lower amount. But basically what you'll find a lot of the times that unless you're already on the SVR rate, which is very unlikely nowadays, you will revert to the SVR following your initial benefit benefit period. So to put that into some sort of context, if you have a five-year fixed rate on a 35-year mortgage, at the end of that five-year period, providing you don't do anything at all and you leave the mortgage as it is, your mortgage will then revert to the lender's SVR. So the SVR tends to move with the market rates. So if interest rates go up, so will the SVR. And similarly, if the rates go down, so will the SVR. What that means from your point of view is there is no certainty about what your monthly repayments are going to be as they could change as often as every couple of months depending on how often interest rates are reviewed. With a standard variable rate, there is also no protection against interest rate rises so the interest rates could double or even triple and you have no protection over it. Now in comparison, your fixed rates are actually the most common in the marketplace place at the moment, especially because interest rates are generally so low. So with a fixed interest rate, the actual interest that you end up paying on your mortgage is fixed for a certain duration, meaning that your monthly repayments stay exactly the same for that period of time. So if you go for a two-year fix, your monthly repayments will remain exactly the same for the two-year period, no matter what the interest rates do in the market. However, what you are faced with is at the point of reviewing your mortgage, so say after that two-year deal is up, interest rates may have risen significantly, meaning that your monthly repayments could jump right up. So as mentioned, with fixed interest rates, you do have the certainty of your monthly repayments, knowing the exact amount every single month. However, that does come with certain costs. One of them being the early repayment charges. So if you wanted to repay a bigger chunk of your mortgage or even repay it in full throughout that period, you would be penalised for doing so. And we're talking thousands of pounds. However, a lot of lenders do allow you to make overpayments up to 10% per year in order to bring the balance down. So in conclusion, you're getting more certainty but less flexibility. So let's move on to the three subtypes. So we'll start with the capped rate. So the best way to describe a capped rate is it's the middle ground between a variable rate and a fixed rate in that you actually have a cap at the maximum level the interest rates are allowed to go up to. So let's say you are capped at 4%. If interest rates in the market rise to 5%, your rate will only increase to that 4%. It will not go above that. So this capped rate will actually move in line with the SVR, with the standard variable rate, in that if the lender increases their standard variable rate, that will then increase the interest rate that is charged on your mortgage, as I say, 
up to a certain amount that it's capped at. So in effect, what that means is that you know the maximum amount you're likely to pay on a monthly basis, which allows you some level of budgeting, which is why I compared it a little bit to a fixed rate mortgage. However, because it's variable, it will move up and down in line with the market rates. So it's not guaranteed to be the same amount every single month. The capped products in the market are very, very rare at this stage, and it's really difficult to actually get your hands on one. However, they may be introduced later on if the government decides to increase the interest rates in the market. Now the next rate I want to discuss is the discounted rate which basically offers a discount to the lender's standard variable rate. So if for example a lender's standard variable rate is 4.25% and they offer you a 2% discount on that rate you end up paying 2.25% on your mortgage. However, if the SBR changes throughout the term, meaning if it goes up or down, the rate that you pay on your mortgage will also move in line with that, which in effect means that your monthly repayments aren't guaranteed. And once again, you have to take that into account when budgeting and when figuring out how much you can actually afford, as you have to take into account the possibility of interest rates rising. Once again, with interest rates being so low and actually reducing over time, lenders have introduced a measure called the interest rate floor, which specifies the minimum rate that you can drop down to so that you don't end up in the negative interest rate territory. And once again, something to bear in mind is that there is no protection against steep rises in interest rates. And the last subtype I want to discuss is the tracker, which is probably the second or third most popular interest rate type out there. Now with a tracker it actually tracks either the Bank of England base rate which is currently 0.1% or the LIBOR rate. Now I won't go too much into the LIBOR part of it just because it's primarily used for commercial lending nowadays. It doesn't really have a place in the residential mortgage market so we won't go into that any further. We will concentrate on the Bank of England base rate instead. So so a tracker in effect uses the Bank of England's base rate as a benchmarking tool. Therefore, the interest rate that you are actually charged is the base rate plus the lender's margin and any associated costs. So once again, it is a variable rate, so it is not fixed for any duration. Now that does offer more flexibility in that a lot of the times, if you opt for a tracker product, you can actually repay the loan at any time. There tends to not be any early repayment charges that are associated with a fixed rate mortgage, but with that comes the risk of interest rates rising and you not being protected against that. So when choosing an interest rate, it is vital to speak to a mortgage advisor because they'll be able to tell you what will work best based on your circumstances. As despite the fixed rate being the preferred option nowadays because of interest rates being so low, certain individuals may benefit more from a tracker product or a discounted rate product. So that's why it is vital to obtain proper mortgage advice before committing to anything. As ultimately, with it being such a big financial commitment, you want to make sure that it's done right and you don't want to rush into it. So with that being said, this is it for today's video. I hope you found it useful and you've got a better understanding of the different interest rate products out there and what they actually mean, as I know there is a lot of financial jargon involved in these type of things. And it's my job to hopefully make it easier for you to understand. So if you could please support my channel by liking this video, as well as subscribing to my channel, I would really, really appreciate that. Also, if you have any questions Questions, please pop them in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. If you have any specific mortgage related queries to do with your own circumstances, do feel free to pop me an email and I will put you in touch with an experienced mortgage advisor who'll be able to help you further. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on Friday with a brand new video. Bye guys!